Hey, 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 man. We got an easy go here with the Robbins engine. Uh, customer said they can drive it a while and then start running, started running about uh, five miles an hour. So we're going to do a test. Uh, Sound like the carburetor needs to be cleaned on it, so we're going to clean the carburetor on it. Let's see. Sorry about that, fellas. All right, here we go. We'll clean the carburetor out on it. Let's see. First thing you need is a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, you got two nuts here that hold the little baffle on. You can see it has mold in it. I'm gonna take them off. And the same thing. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to take all these four nuts. Actually, it's two nuts and two studs. See one there like a stud extender for a, a stud with a nut place on. That's three. And let's see. All right, and you got your four one out. So you're going to have two studs with a place for a nut then you're gonna all right then you're gonna take your your air box your air box your air hose adapter plate off take this off to make sure your little sleeve goes back in there all right next thing we're going to do is 10 millimeter wrench pull this bolt here out of here this is for the uh, air box a air box bracket. In the comments below, man, tell me what y'all think about the Robbins engines, man. I think they're pretty good, man. They messed up kind of when they went to the uh, EMCI. And you can tell if it's the EMCI or not by looking at the manifold. Uh, you can see it's got an aluminum manifold here. That's the MCI. They changed the old pressure design on them, the way the old on top of the valve cover runs. Instead of it running through the holes in the valve cover, it actually comes up the cam side and squirts over. So the faster you go with it, man, they were known for not getting enough old pressure on the timing belt side of the cam and locking the head up, locking the cam up in the head. So they've done away with it for that and come out with the Kawasaki engine. All right, man, next thing you wanna do is take the end line, take the, the fuel hose off the carburetor. This comes from your fuel pump. Then I'm gonna run my other two, I'm run my two box with a Phillips screwdriver. Also, man, I wanted to say, man, uh, if you dislike my videos, man, instead of giving me the thumbs down, um, which I don't care what you do, man, it's your right to do what you want to do. But uh, in the comments, man, leave me a comment stating why you left me a, a dislike for. But all right, what you want to do now, you got right here is a Phillips. Well, let me get a different one. Got a Phillips screwdriver. Now we're talking. All right, so we're going to break that loose there to hold it hold the choke cable. All right, let me get the pan thing. So what I'm gonna do is get a socket here for this. All right, and you're looking at. What the hell, man? There we go, oh, man. 
seven millimeter socket put it on that there and it actually unscrews the uh, the choke cable there so you can pull the choke cable out now you don't want to take this bolt all the way out man you just want to loosen it enough where you can get the uh we can get a choke cable spin all right <clears throat> like i said uh, don't loosen it just give it the uh, just make it loose where you can pull the choke cable out all right you got to bend the air box out the way here all right just like that all right and pull the choke cable out like this and take your flathead screwdriver and pop this off Make sure when you if you pop it off like I did, and then it comes off here. To make sure you just push this uh, on the end of your throttle cable there. Just pop it back together. All right, so now we're going to open up the carburetor. This here is your uh, pickup tube, not, not your pickup tube. This is your overflow tube on your carburetor. So if the needle stick, if the needle sticks in it, it runs gas on the ground. But uh, now we're gonna open it up and see if any trash is in it. And it's gonna be a uh, half inch socket. Right, put it on there, break it loose. All right, then we're gonna see what's in it. What I try to do, man, is hold my finger over this hole on the bottom. That way, when you open the bowl up, you can see what trash is in it and look at it. You can see trash, like rust particles in it. And all it takes, man, is one of them, a little bit of that to get into your <clears throat> your jet and it stops, it stops the uh, carburetor from pumping gas. Now you see your O-ring here. The O-ring normally don't come out. Most of the time the O-ring stays on here. So just put it back. And then also on your top, this is your top end jet here. This is what gives you gas when you're barely sitting there and you're trying to take off instead of flooring it. Uh, so always take that off and clean it too. So what, all right, so what you want to do there is take your screwdriver, big sturdy screwdriver, that little one I had wasn't doing it, now unscrew it, damn, boy, they must got that thing welded in there, damn, there we go, got it, got it, all right, pop it loose, and your jet's going to be in there, so you have a jet there, <clears throat> this is your low speed jet, this is your high speed jet, then you want to pull your float pin out, pull the float out, and there's your needle. Just make sure that you don't spray no carburetor cleaner on the tip of your needle because it's rubber. Uh, you'll deteriorate it. So just take it and set it aside. And what we use, man, we go to parts store in Napa and get this right here at CRC. Kind of cheap and reasonable, and uh, it, it does the job. So then you want to, you can see all this here, clean all this out. All right, clean that out. Uh, clean this. And then what you want to do is take your carburetor inside there. Let's see if you can see the jet. All right, inside of the jet in there, take it, line the tube up with the, with the hole there. If you look inside here, you can see All right. you see, see it come out here. All right. That means your jet's clean. And then you want to take your low speed jet here and spray it. 
And you can see it pour out of there too, watch it. I'll get it going there good, let's see. 